just cause her got them little skinny legs. You know that ain't no way to do. <laughs> you didn't act like that when you had it home behind closed doors. Joe Tex, the rhythm and blues soul artist, was a household name, especially in the black community. There was a down-homeness and earthliness about Joe that nearly everyone could instantly relate to. He was a phenomenal writer, singer, and composer who mesmerized audiences wherever he played. His band was comprised of the most gifted musicians that could be found. The sound of Joe Tex was often humorous, but he also touched on the trials and tribulations of broken love affairs. Genius is a word that's often loosely applied these days, but for Joe Tex, he earned the word. He was born Joseph Arrington Jr. on August 8, 1933, and died of a heart attack on August 13, 1982. The grand chanteur de blues, Joe Tex. Thank you! When you went to see the Joe Tex show, you certainly saw an out of sight show. Joe Tex made you happy. He made you smile, sing along, and dance in your seat. Joe Tex was serious show business. He packed houses to sold out shows. And the tricks he did with the microphone was pure magic. and his band were always immaculately clean and dressed to kill. They were the type of performers who made you not want to blink your eyes when they were on stage for fear you might miss something. His band was tight. They were electrifying. Joe Tex was on top of his game. This is what professional entertainment was all about. During Joe's fantastic music career, he recorded most of his hits on the Dial record label and later recorded for Epic and Venture record companies. That's all right. Just walk on, mister. Hey, hey, hey. And don't you worry about a doggone thing at all. Hey, hey. You're going to someone so bad will take you, Mr. Racket Hole. When Joe Tex joined the Nation of Islam in July of 1972 and changed his name to Joseph X and eventually Joseph Haziz, the entire music world was stunned. Most folks couldn't believe it. A man mostly known for his good-natured and often humorous music was joining something as serious as the black Muslims? Nah, I know you're joking, most people would say to one another. But what most people didn't know is that Joe Tex was also a super sensitive man who was concerned about the wretched condition black people were unjustly placed in by ruling white society. Joe now wanted to use his talent to help black people by helping the Nation of Islam build a much needed 200 bed hospital that was to be built from the ground up by all Muslim architects, engineers, consultants, and planners. Opportunistic Nation of Islam officials saw a good opportunity to take advantage of Joe's good nature by quickly tagging him with a moniker, a nickname calling Joe the hospital minister because of his raising of funds to build this imaginary hospital. Years later, Joe would realize that he was taken advantage of by so-called religious people. It contributed to his severe depression and ultimately his untimely death. Once when Joe was rooming at a Detroit hotel, thieves broke into his room and stole an estimated seven thousand dollars in jewelry and clothing the thieves wrote on his mirror i gotcha clearly it was a inside job <laughs> 